Patrick, what is going on? We're perking up in here, Courtney. We've got uh, Rose, is, uh, Rose Forrest from Daniel Gourmet Kosher Catering. Welcome to the Road Show. Thank nice you. to meet you here. Look at this smorgasbord of uh, ingredients. This is roasted tomato brisket. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I get this right. With potato kugel. You got it. And sautéed fresh spinach. Yep. All right. What do we take me through the uh, the process? Okay. Let's start with the brisket. Okay. So what you have over here? Switch sides. Yep. This is, is the important stuff. Right? Yes, this is the important stuff. We have a. Uh, it's going to be a big piece of brisket. We're going to put some uh, tomato paste, some pickling spice, salt, pepper, garlic, bay leaves, brandy. Really simple. And then you're going to put these vegetables on top. You have for the potato kugel. You have your potatoes. You have matzo meal, eggs, olive oil, salt, pepper, some fresh herbs. And then we're going to have a sautéed spinach with garlic, salt, and pepper, and a fresh salad. Look at the size of that piece of meat right there. It's a big one. And that is the? That's the brisket. That's the brisket. Yeah. That's right. You can find the uh, recipe online at foxprovenance.com. And a little bit later in the show, we're going to come back and put all this together. How long does this take to, uh, to cook, this whole process, start to finish? The brisket itself, you pop it in the oven. It takes about four to five hours. The potato kugel takes about a half an hour. One of those dishes you start in the morning when you wake up yep. and you eat at the end of the day. All right, Rose, more from you here in the kitchen in a couple minutes. For now, let's send it back to you. Thanks. Well, I'll tell you what, we are kosher for Passover back here uh, in the Roadshow Kitchen. Rose was just draining some uh, potatoes. And actually, I, I want to talk a little bit about what kosher means. What is the difference between kosher food and someone who keeps kosher or, or has a kosher kitchen and non-kosher food? Yeah, absolutely. So the difference between kosher and non-kosher really is um, the way the meat itself is slaughtered. Mm -hmm. It also has to do with not mixing meat and milk together. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a kosher kitchen, you have separate dishes. You have meat dishes and, and, and uh, dairy dishes. And sometimes you even have a separate dishwasher, a separate refrigerator, so that they don't... They Some don't. people do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think, um, and one of the things that I think is interesting about uh, kosher foods is when it began, there was this idea of, you know, protecting the Jewish people from uh, things that could be dangerous when you eat certain foods or when you mix certain foods. Mm -hmm. Isn't that correct? Um, a little bit? Yeah. Uh, mostly it also has to do with um, a passage in the Bible saying that you're not supposed to uh, eat a calf in its mother's milk. Mm -hmm. And so Jewish people have have really taken that to to heart, mm -hmm. and they don't want to accidentally, uh, you know, do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think uh, I think it's great because as we're um, approaching Passover, uh, it's really interesting to see how you know kosher foods are prepared. And so we're going to continue making this brisket and uh, and the and the kugel. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what the kugel is. Kugel is basically a savory potato pudding. And I have to say, I do yeah. love it. So Very we're going to start mi mixing that up in just a moment. For now, though, back over to you. Go for it, Beth. You do it. All right. Welcome back to the kitchen. In the road show this morning, we're getting ready for Passover. And uh, Rose and I were just comparing notes on how we love to eat and how when you do eat, you have to keep basically all appendages inside the vehicle because I it's can eat true. meat. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about the brisket. Why did, you, um, why did you choose brisket for Passover? It's a pretty traditional uh, cut of meat to do for Passover. And so I figured the meal that I'd be doing today, we're going to do traditional. We're going to show you how to do it and make it easy. You know what I think is uh, interesting as well is even though you do um, kosher catering, a lot of people in the Christian faith might also um, want to do kosher catering. Do you do seders and that sort of thing? We do, yeah. And and so uh, in the Christian faith, you know, might want to experience a traditional Jewish meal and, and traditional uh, seder and uh, might be interested in this as well. But tell me a little bit about what you're doing right now. Oh, absolutely. Right now I'm just sauteing the spinach. I'm going to reserve that on the side. Okay. And what I'm going to do while this is going, I'm going to put this on You have anything on the spinach while you're sauteing it? Yeah, I do. I have garlic. I have a little bit of salt and pepper and some olive oil. Rose, do you like my cooking advisor? <laughs> yeah. Keeps the hair out of the, out of the face. That's good. I always feel left out. The chefs always have these cool outfits. Right. And I said, I'm going to put the cooking visor on. That's good. Right. It's feel fine. We're going we're gonna to label it the cooking visor. Yeah. We'll let you put it on every time. Sorry. So what are we doing next? So next we're going to go over here. And while we're on break a little bit, I took the ingredients that were over here, which was onions, a little bit of spinach, some carrots, some salt, some pepper, some yeah. garlic, eggs, a little bit of olive oil and matzo meal. Serve matzo right meal is the, Do we the have to cook that or can we just eat that right now? Um, <laughs> might be well advised to cook it because okay. <laughs> they're raw eggs. But where did you, you know. get the matzo meal? Can you get that in most? Stop and shop. Oh, really? Yeah, that's okay, great. Where I got it Perfect. from. Yeah, and so you're going to just ladle these into here. And they're been, they've been oiled just mm -hmm. so they pop out easily. Yeah, a little bit of olive oil. So it, for Passover, you can't use bean oils like a soybean oil or corn okay. oil. So we use olive oil a lot in cooking. Rose, you want me to do that? And you can go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. This is a simple enough task for a guy. Like <laughs>
<laughs> so this is going to go right over here. I'm actually going to put this off to the side okay. because it's going to carry over cooking. You don't want to overcook that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to prepare the brisket super easy. What I well, did tell you what, why don't you come stand yeah, over by yeah, me yeah. and Patrick, uh, you can, you can, you can. I'm going to go back to the kids table. <laughs> yeah, go back to the kids table <laughs> over please. here. Have it over there. I'm okay. Go. See you later. Okay. Have a good show. <laughs> Bye, Patrick. So what we're going to do with this brisket over here is I had it on the stove top. I just seared it very quickly. Okay. I put a little bit of tomato paste, salt, and pepper. Mm. And what you're doing is you're like caramelizing the sugars in it. You're going to bring out a nice rich color and a, a more bodied flavor. We have brandy. I'm just pouring some brandy over that guy. Pickling spice. And it's really just... Ooh, a lot. A lot, yeah. Good. Okay. And you want to rub it in there. Mm -hmm. Cloves of garlic, whole. Just throw them in. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. You don't even have to mash it up or anything. No, nope, you're back. back. <laughs> awesome. Back, you did a great job. Now, how, I cleaned my plate. What temperature do we put this in the oven at? 350 for Go about for 25 minutes. Oh, oh that's quick. Yeah, it really is. This, Some tomato, yep. just chopped tomatoes. This is really just throw it together, super easy. And yeah, you know what? This amazing. is an easy, easy dish. Yeah. Okay. Some so onions. onions, just throw it over in there. Nice. And what we have is a little bit of rutabaga. Rutabaga. Yes. Not often that we're cooking with the rutabaga. No, like but it's that. that kind of year, in that time of the year, mm -hmm. a little rutabaga. I thought that was a car. <laughs> I think that was your uh, first car, right? Yeah, right yeah. And some carrots and some celery. Look how lovely that looks. Yeah. Spinach over yeah, you here. keep going. This is good. I like this. This is teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And look how okay. vibrant that That's is. That's beautiful. That's all there is to this guy. Well, You're going to put some good. water in the bottom of the pan, okay. and the water is essential. You're going to cover up really, really, keep really it moist. Tight. Exactly. exactly. And what do you uh, um, Aluminum foil over mm -hmm. top? Okay, yep. very cool. You're going to put it in the oven for about five hours. Five hours. So this yeah. is gonna, you got to do some pre-planning with this. Well, let's put that in there so the folks that come to do the news tonight. Yes, yeah, they can have this for dinner. For him already. So this guy's going to go in. I have to say, the, the evening news people really enjoy the road show as well yeah. because they come in here and there's lots of delicious food. Oh, man, this yeah. looks good. How do do that? It is magic, the magic of television. That was okay. amazing, Rose. How did you <laughs> I am going to get one of these. So these are our potato cocos when they come out of the oven. Uh, these go look delicious. I'm going to take yeah. a bite of this right away. And our brisket is coming out right now. Oh, that is so good. Cool. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Rose. What you can do with a potato is, is incredible. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate that. And spinach? Then, uh, spinach, yeah. The salad looks so good. Yeah. Everything looks delicious. Just throw this on here. Mm -hmm. So we only have a few skin. seconds yeah. left. So why don't we let Patrick dig in? Do we have a, a knife over Go there? Go for it, absolutely. And there's a carving knife if you want. Mm -hmm. Right I'll tell you what, in a minute we'll carve this up, but we'll let mm -hmm. Patrick get a little snack. Or else they keep the sharp stuff Think away from <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you might want to get past the, the yeah, nice get fatty there. part of that. Is okay. that all fatty that part? Yeah, good. Yeah. Don't eat that? Yeah, you really want to eat the fatty, fatty part. All right, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what keeps it nice and moist. You can cut that off. Well, I tell you what, Rose, how do people contact you if they're interested in kosher catering? So you can uh, look on our website. Mm -hmm. It's um, danielkosherkatering.com, uh, mm -hmm. or you can just email us um, at uh, Daniel Kosher Cater I'm sorry, danielkosherkatering.com, or um, danielkosherkatering.cox.net is our email address. Well, great. We'll put yeah. that all on our website, foxprovidence.com. What do you think? Thumbs up? Very <laughs> cool. Thank you. Hey, Patrick, we are kosher for Passover, back uh, Patrick. You're, you are Patrick. TJ nice is who I'm trying to... <laughs> hey! How are you? Elizabeth, nice to How's meet you. Brisket? I'm TJ. Nice to meet you guys. It's almost as good as this potato pancake, I tell you what. Hey, TJ, it looks like we're shaping up for a pretty good weekend. Yeah, we are.